What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Green Cheek Beer Company, and they are headquartered in Orange, California, and this is their Here We Are. So they're calling this one a Belgian-style white ale with California oranges and coriander. It comes in at 5% alcohol by volume, 13 IBUs at the time of review. This can is just under five months old. I want to give a huge thanks, shout out once again, to a very good friend of mine and viewer of the channel, Sierra Hotel, for this beer. So big thanks to him. In the description box, I'll post a link to the beer mail unboxing video I did that contains all the goodies he hooked me up with. And uh, this was a part of either the first or second beer mail he sent my way. And I was so excited because he also sent me their Hellas Lager uh, along with this. And um, I love, you know, trying out California hazies, but when a uh, brewery like Green Cheek, who's known for their hazies, uh, you know, they throw out a Hellas Lager or a Belgian style white ale, aka a Belgian Vit beer. I'm super excited because I want to see what they can do with it. So one of my favorite American brewed Belgian Vit beers is from Allagash, Allagash White. So I'm hoping that this one's kind of in that realm, just a really delicious Belgian style of Vit beer. So let's give it a crack and uh, pour it in the glass. Now they're using California oranges and coriander. Most Belgian Vit beers, I believe, use orange peel and coriander. So I don't know if they're using the entire orange or orange peel, but it's definitely California oranges. And that looks like a hazy IP of some sort. Oh yeah. Carbonation is a little bit crazy. Now I did pour that like a maniac, but as I was pouring it, I noticed, oh man, that's good. That's good, a little bit cheating, that's good. So, you know, I had to try to save it there. I failed, did not save anything. Actually, probably made it worse if we're being honest here. So just trying to uh, clean this up. Always have paper towels now, just in case. Um, but yeah, that was a crazy pour. I did not expect it to look that hazy. I know, you know, Belgian beers obviously have the haze. Same thing with like uh, German Hefeweizens. You know, they're the original hazies. Uh, but a lot of times you got to give them like the uh, the vice roll. Um, didn't have to do that here. So it actually looks beautiful now that I messed up the pour, but it still looks great. So this has a very bright, vibrant yellow color. Uh, on camera, it's probably going to be dulled out. In person, let me just tell you, that just looks like lemonade. That's what that looks like to me. Lemonade. Hazy lemonade. Has about a three finger of this soap sudsy, bright white um, head. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> looks like a Vit beer. Yeah, very hazy. A lot of... Uh, you know, a lot of murk going on. Good carbonation. This has the etching that promotes carbonation. I can see it through the haze. But that actually looks beautiful in the Allagash glass. Even though I poured it like a Neanderthal. Here we are. It's a good nose. Uh-oh. Siren's going by. Hope everything's cool. <sighs> Freshly squeezed orange juice. I used to, and I've, I've mentioned this a couple different times on the channel, I used to, my, <clears throat> my grandma had one of those old glass orange... Uh, juicers that you would just sit there and cut the orange in half and just juice it and you know take seven thousand uh, oranges to get you know one glass of orange juice and it just reminds me of that you know back then for breakfast on a sunday morning uh slice, slicing open those oranges and going to town that's kind of what the smell is just freshly freshly squeezed oranges not necessarily juice a little bit of that coriander there's a slight bubble gum there's a nice like grainy kind of malt sensation as well it just smells so light, refreshing, vi but it has a vibrancy to the aroma. Very inviting. Yeah, this smells really, really good, honestly. Just under five months old, I figured, you know, beer like this should be fine. It's not a, you know, hazy uh, double IPA that I should get to within a couple months. Um, so that's why I'm reviewing this one. Anyway, cheers, everybody. Thanks again to Sierra Hotel. Just... Really light, but refreshing with, again, really a beautiful citrus character. It's not just straight oranges. It's almost like tangerines, dare I say a tangelo or tangelo. Mm. And it has such a drying finish that this is super, this would be super crushable. Mm. Buying this is like higher side of light bottom, uh, light bottom, <laughs> higher side of light bottom, higher side of uh, light bodied maybe lower side of medium. It is, there ha there's a little bit of a watery uh, nature to it. 5%, it's thin, right? But I think it actually enhances the drinkability because I just want to go back and just chug this, you know? The mouthfeel, 
while it is spritzy and has like a moderate to maybe a touch over moderate carbonation, very effervescent on the palate, it is smooth and there is a slight creaminess and that head would dictate. Look at the lacing, absolutely fantastic. Mm. This is really good. Wow, I'm actually surprised. Um, and the reason why I'm surprised is, you know, a lot of hazy producers, they don't release beers like this. You know, you're not gonna get a lot of your hyper always going, oh, here's our German Hefeweizen and put it in a can and release it. Belgian Vip beer. They're just not going to do that. So kudos to Green Cheek for doing that and releasing it and making it really good because this is quite tasty. Is it as good as Allagash, Allagash's uh, White? Probably not, but I don't know. I don't have uh, a can of that or a, or a um, bottle of that to really compare. I will just say is stylistically, this is really nice from an American brewery. Yeah, right up front, it's a little bit of like a a grainy, biscuity malt character, quickly morphs into that citrus character. Orange, tangerine, tangelo. It's both the juice of the fruit with like the zest, the rind. It's like all encompasses, you know, basically the entire fruit. Really nice. Passes through, middle of the palate, hits me a little bubblegum. On the finish, I get this nice floral, slightly grassy, and almost herbaceous kind of hop character. Very mildly bitter. I mean, this. You know, this is not supposed to be bitter. It's 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 a uh, you know vit beer. It's supposed to you know have those nice fruity characteristics. A little bit of a coriander kind of too, so like a slight spiciness as well. Very well balanced because all that you know fruit fruity goodness. A little bit sweeter at the front of the palate, but it is balanced out by what a full on dry finish. It's not bone dry, but it definitely is dry on the finish. And uh, it's just an easy drinker. This is, so when people are like, oh, what would you like, you know, beer wise in terms of like, you know, you're, you're poolside, you're at a barbecue, you're at the beach or whatever. Cans of this would be great because I get enough of that, you know, citrus refreshing character. It's pretty light, which again, works in its favor that this is a little bit watery. So very chuggable, has nice flavors, very balanced, not too sweet, not too bitter, not too dry. Just a really well-made Belgian style vit beer. Hmm. Kudos to Green Cheek on this one. Um, I think this is really good. Stylistically, you know, I, we'll say stylistically is an American brewed Belgian style white ale. This is up there. This is probably like a 4.6, 4.7. Like, you don't see a lot of great Belgian style vit beers being released by American breweries. It's just not a style that probably resonates a lot with uh, American uh, drinkers. You know, you got your, you know, Blue Moons and, and uh, Shock Top still a thing. Um, those are not perfectly you know made for the style even though they'll call them like a white a white ale or they'll call it a wheat beer and a lot of people say it's a belgian style vit beer i mean i don't hate blue moon or shock top but like this, this something like this blows it out of the water because this is to me extremely well made so um here we are from green cheek like i said four six four seven for the style um but for my own personal overall beer preference all day every day this is a 4.2 out of 5 like this is better than some of the hazies i had from them I shit you not, like this is right in that realm where it's just like a very well-made Belgian style of it beer. And uh, yeah, kudos to Green Cheek on this beer. Uh, price point availability, I was able to get the price point because uh, they actually listed it on their Instagram, $14 a four pack, which again is not a bad price when you're talking about it's Green Cheek, it's California. It's not bad, 375 might be a little bit high. Like the Afer mentioned, like Blue Moon, you can get that a lot cheaper. But for a great brewery producing something like this and the quality, $14 four pack is not terrible, especially nowadays. That's a good price point, in my opinion. Um, for for you pay for what you get in this in this scenario, in my opinion. Um, and availability is green cheek. I'd imagine they release this occasionally. I don't know if this is the first time they ever released it. Sierra Hotel or anybody else who drinks a lot of green cheek stuff, if you have this one or you know more about their brewery, uh, let me know because this would be perfect if they release this every spring and summer. This one was canned in early June, and I'm reviewing this one in early November. So again, that's why it's just under just under five months old. It's like a couple days under five months old. And tell you what, I, I couldn't tell you this is, this is aged for five months at all. It's been in my fridge the entire time, but still. Yeah, delicious Belgian style bit beer. So if you've had this one before, post a comment section. If not, what is your favorite Belgian bit beer, whether it's authentic from Belgium or an American brewed Belgian style bit beer? I would like to know. Um, Allagash White still is probably my favorite brewed here in America, but this isn't far behind. Not that I drink a lot of them, because again, a lot of breweries don't release them uh, in cans or bottles. You usually draft only at a brewery. So um, yeah, I'm just, yeah, anyway, I'm shutting it down. I just, I'm kind of, my mind's kind of blown that this is as good as it is. I didn't expect that, and I'm here for it. So anyway, 
Huge thanks to our hotel for this beer. Thanks to everybody stopping by for another a beer review here on the Beer Patrol. 5%, you really can't tell. And uh, I love that. Till next one. Cheers.